Welcome back. Today, we're going to be learning about the life cycles of reptiles, birds, and mammals. So stay tuned, and let's get ready to learn. How do reptiles, birds, and mammals reproduce? Reptiles and birds reproduce by laying amniotic eggs. An amniotic egg protects and nourishes a developing embryo. An embryo is a fertilized egg that is going through the early stages of growth. An amniotic egg contains membranes that have different purposes. One membrane helps get rid of waste. Another provides a large food supply to support the developing embryo. Small openings in the shell allow oxygen to enter the cell and carbon dioxide to escape. Reptile eggs have soft, leathery shells. Inside the egg, the embryo develops until it re resembles an adult. Then it hatches out. Few reptile parents care for their young. By the time a young reptile hatches, it is capable of caring for itself. Bird eggs which I have a photo of, have hard shells. When young birds hatch, they are not yet able to care for themselves. One or both parents feed and care for the newly hatched offspring until they are strong enough to fly and find food. Almost all mammals give birth to the live young. All mammals produce milk for feeding their young. Most mammal offspring are cared for by one or both parents for some time after birth. Mammals can be classified into three groups based on where their embryo develops. Macho means which one have a photo coming up in around five seconds and macho means are porcupines. They lay eggs. Marsupials carry the developing embryo in a pouch on the outside of the body. In placental mammals, the embryo develops inside the mother's body where it is nourished by a placenta. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned for lesson number 20, Reproduction in Insects and Amphibians. Like always, like and subscribe. Till next time, peace out.